I guarantee All right. 23 and me forgot to put 80%. As so I told you, uh, can you please pray for my friend? He uh, just tested positive for Portuguese. <laughs> wow. Hey, catch it. Part of my day. What is that? Catch it. Oh. Catch it. It stinks hey. like a motherfucker. <laughs> She's she's got her own uh tiger tiger beast tiger king food. tiger king tiger queen she's the she's the mini tiger queen yeah it it helps to uh remove the tape from from you yeah. that really what happened just now yeah exactly the whole time <laughs> the whole time the lenses were were close with the tape this whole entire time. Oh, I thought we were bad yesterday. I got, in fact, I'm not gonna. Not to say that I couldn't hear you guys because Here. he had the, the thing, the earphones. The earphones. He looks no, like I thought we were the worst. Thing. Yesterday we had a similar moment, and now I got to string together all the moments of like, when did you realize <laughs> you were old? The blooper reel. When did you realize you were old? And yesterday, me and Tina are like, in we were like both, totally live, but we're looking at the. Are we live? Are we live? Are we live? And then someone writes in the comments, yes, you're live. It was like a 20 year old, like, you're live, yes. I'm like, oh, I have a like, uh. Oh, and um, for like half an hour, and then finally, holy shit! Gloria! <laughs> Gloria, Baracchio, Sophia, Tina, Hi. Mikey. Hi, Tina. Oh my goodness. Hey, what? I, know, I know where Ryan and Tina uh, have not been. Have you been safe? Hey, don't, don't worry. I'm looking in the Redwoods, bro. He's not wasting. Okay, okay, okay. okay. He cut that out. He's going to eat. So it's, that's, like, that's not one of the real ones. He, we, what happened to your head, bro? Uh, Are you making a statement? Were you mad at him, Tina? Ah. <laughs> He's been cutting it short for a while. So. Yeah. Okay, where are you people? Are you in Hawaii? Is everyone in Hawaii? Okay, yeah, so we're Aina Haina, uh, Mikey, where you at? I'm uh, near Iolani at Date Street. Yeah, nice. Yeah. Wait, do you guys still live Diamond Lane or no? I do, and Kalo does, but Mats, Mats is in Aina Haina now. Nice. Aina, just like how long? Since hey. July. Since last June, so that's... Oh, cousin. Where the hell are you? You look like you're in a I'm log Aspen. you're in a log cabin. I'm in a log cabin. Shall I show you my home? Yes. Yeah. Give us the in, tour. Hi Sophia. I live in the redwoods of Sonoma County. Wow. Ooh. Well, I'll turn my fireplace on it in a second. But um this is my backyard. Yeah. Wow. Wow. Nice. So I've been here for like two years. Uh, kind of doing what Maddie P is doing, except I'm having a lot of sex. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> Maddie P is a monk who is learning to bed and not having a lot of sex. I'm guessing, unless the monk protocol has changed. But we, you know, I'm doing the Tibetan Buddhist thing. We pray a lot, but we work a lot. And I host a lot of yoga retreats. Are you doing the yoga retreats over there? <laughs> yeah, I do a lot of retreats here. Um, I was teaching, God, I taught like seven retreats in the first two months of the year, and then the corona happened, so. The corona happened. Now, wait. Nice little front load. Yeah. So yeah, but we just, I'm just taking a break. Are you yeah. switching over to doing like the virtual yoga class and then doing the Venmo tip? I mean, how are you dealing with the whole like yoga? Bro, instructor? I don't even care. I don't even care about yoga. I don't even care about uh, videoing yoga. I mostly just, I mean, more I've evolved with my students where I'm like chanting and meditating more. Yeah. Um, so I don't really do the whole yoga stretchy pants thing too much. So I don't really, I might if my students ask me to do it, but don't I don't. Don't play the stretchy pants. It's the best part of it. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm not, but you know, I'm just not, I'm kind of, my body's kind of lazy. <laughs> I kind of just want to sit down. Yeah, no, totally. But okay, you're holding all these retreats, right? Just point a camera at it, damn it, so that other people can, right? We're all trapped in our houses, right? Not everybody's trapped in a beautiful log cabin like yourself. 
But, well, I don't have any guests anymore. So that's what I'm saying. We closed. Yeah, no, that's what I'm saying. Like, re online. reconnect, yeah, reconnect, do a Zoom. Yeah, I know, but. He's saying we could use some chants right about now. Come on. Ooh, a little shanty, shanty chant. Ooh. Are you serious? Yes, I'm serious. Like, talk to us while you pose, just because. Why not? I love it. Samps. Samps. Yeah. Did you say while I pose? Yeah. This is one of those songs where it's good, where you keep talking over it, and it's like just, you know, for narration. It sounds okay, let's, like let's catch up then. Let's have uh, Tina and Sophia mm -hmm. narrate, like, okay, yeah. what's up? Sure. I, I, I have, I'm like kind of just meeting you girls. Yeah. Like, <laughs> like who are you? Give let's me, give me the story. The like, year. you what? I've seen you a couple times through the years, so I've, we've never really actually, you know, been introduced. But, um, so, maybe like, uh, how long have um, Like Probably like six or seven years ago I met you. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. In Pathy and Diamond Lane. Where was that? Diamond Lane. And you were visiting and you were at K Kalo's house. And then, so I did kind of know, and so, we, you know, we talked about like, Oh yeah, I'm like, oh okay, the tracks, okay. <laughs> yeah, you guys were like, hey, okay. And then, um, and then maybe three, maybe, was it two years or three years ago, you were at Kalo's house one day, and we, were, we came, just stopped in and said hi. Um, but so I, I must have not made that much of a <laughs> <laughs> Remember that one long, deep conversation we had, and then you said it changed your life. You remember? <laughs> oh wait, now I remember. Yes, of course. I'm like, how many girls do you bring over? <laughs> black Japanese. That's come on, that's rare. It's like, come on. Oh, so where are you from, Tina? You're black Japanese. California. Yeah. Okay, and are your parents there? <laughs> well, my dad was, he passed away, but my mom, um, and she's like born and raised Japan, came military, buried my dad. We were living in California, and then she moved here. I moved here in about, I think it was like 93. Um, went to Castle High School for for a very short period of time and hated it so much that I went back to California. My mom stayed here. Um, anyway. So you guys both went Castle. No, oh, no, wait. You uh, didn't go Castle. Kaiser. 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 <laughs> Kaiser. Oh my god. Yeah, but yeah. So that's I don't know, not much really to my story. I came here in, um, about ten years ago. Awesome. And then what are you doing now? Are you working? Or are you retired? Um, I'm not, I don't know what you, if you want to, is it work really? Well, collecting unemployment is a type of work, folks. Nice. What were you unemployed from? Um, I did dental insurance. Nice. Billing and stuff for dental office. So. Cool. So you just kind of hang in? Yeah. So I worked from home and um, it was nice. And then now um, there's no need. <laughs> Yeah. For it. So uh, now I'm yeah. just here working on um, HawaiianRyan.com and Radio <laughs> HR and trying yes. to get, you Yes. Now know. she's finally an essential worker. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. Wait, so what is HawaiianRyan.com? You it's know what? different it's, from your radio show? It's just the solution to all the world's problems. Same? Yeah. Well, Same? Different? If you go on HawaiianRyan.com, there's, um, we have like services, MC services, videography. Don't hire me for that. I just, that's just to show, like, and to make the website look more. I don't, I'm too lazy. I mean, and where it was, it's filler. Yeah. The, the largest photo booth in Hawaii. Yeah, like bro. Seven foot photo booth that, like, uh, it, it kind of looks like a giant iPhone, but it's a mirror. It's touch screen, right? It's like because, a giant mirror. Because I don't want to work, Gloria. I don't want to actually, I'm like you. I just want to, like, you know what I mean? I'm lazy. So it's like if someone else can just rent it and I just, like, you know, catch, like, a little passive income. Not going to be renting it anytime soon. <laughs> because, oh, oh my God. <laughs> like, you know what I mean? Even weddings are being canceled. That's crazy. Yeah. Wait, where is this photo booth? You want to see it? It's in my house. We can even, like, yeah. Like, oh, can we go in it? Can you virtually go in it? We can virtually, well, we can go right now. And just, you know, uh, like, I'll have to like turn it on and stuff. It's not on, but. How much does it cost? Ooh, that... Oh, I don't have pants on. Oh, yeah, you don't have pants on. That's right. Nobody cares. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, that's actually perfect. <laughs> there's, there's another great <laughs> blooper moment. <laughs> oh, I don't have pants on. <laughs> Now that, that is a great no. Zoom moment right there. That was good. Um, great.
Great. Great to see you. Great to see you. <laughs> but it, it's really cool. That you can do, you can play games on it and uh, it does all kinds of cool stuff. You can even make a put a, a fake fireplace on that thing. Right? Oh my god. Anyways, Mikey, how are you? Shaka Tanakas, brothers. Sisters. Tanaka tag, bros. Yeah, things are things are um great. Chill. I mean, you know, still doing real estate, of course, you know, and diversifying and playing and uh, chilling. Farmer. Yeah. A lot, lot of chilling. Yeah. Farming. Love it. Yeah, yeah. Farming so. like in the backyard? Oh, uh, yeah, you could say. Show, show, show us your, your backyard, farm. Mikey. Show us your babies, Mikey. Uh, okay, okay. Let's see. Aww. Succulents. It's it's succulent succotash. <laughs> what the hell? No, the other the other girls are too far away. So you know, we'll let them. We'll let them uh, just keep absorbing the the beautiful sunshine. Oh my God! It's so this is, day here. Is this uh, Tia's home? Oh, are you uh, sanitizing everything? You know, I'm, I'm just really cleaning today. It's my cleaning day. Okay. And, and, and then I'm going to go in and I'm going to sunbase by the windows. I love it. I love that everybody's just taking their pants off today and showing up. I love it. Why not? Oh, no, no. I have pants on. Oh, okay. They're there. <laughs> Does Sophia still have a job? Um, actually, she, um, she works for American Airlines. She's in ticketing. And, uh, and they were giving um, options to, to take time off. And so she doesn't have to work for the next three months, which is fantastic. You know, get out of that environment. You know what I mean? So, so we've been, oh, no time to that. <laughs> is that, is that. Does that take place with snaps? It can, yeah. <laughs> so like, what, yeah. Glow, what are you like? What is the the quarantine activities you find yourself uh, doing? You're doing a lot of family zooming, and what's what's going on over there? How are you how are you managing? Locked up in the cabin. What shit goes down? Is this has been my life living two years at a retreat center. I mean, the only difference is I'm not hosting retreats, but I'm still hanging with my community and. Um, we pray every day, like we do a bunch of boots. No holding prayers. hands, though. No, no, no we're kind of. They say six feet, but I mean, we still share food, bro. Like, oh, but, or, but since no one is coming, coming in, right? So you, yeah, can, like you're able to basically quarantine with everyone. How right? many so people in the community? Many. How many? So people? hold on, yeah. So it's about seventeen, twenty of us, and so some people made the decision, like if they're leaving just don't come back until further right. notice. Right. And then well, then, then you self-quarantine for, for a couple weeks and then you can come back to the group if... Exactly. So if you, you have an essential task, like mm -hmm. going to the doctor or blah, 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 um, then you quarantine. Everyone takes their temperature every day. We all wash our hands like crazy. It's my job to sanitize all the handles, the door handles and right. <laughs> things like that. So we're just doing that, but we're kind of just taking a break, we're resting a lot, we're cooking for each other. Um, so, I mean, I'm watching a lot of Jim Carrey. Yes. <laughs> and I'm, yes. oh, I started cardio again. What do you mean? I'm like, like, I'm like running hills, uh, dude. I'm like woo! hills. Well, I, we saw your backyard. It's like you have social distancing space like a motherfucker. That's just like Yeah, we're actually on like 120 acres. Wow. But seriously, you guys should come because we have these amazing cottages. You should look it up online. As I nice. like, go to the airport. I totally send us location. Send us location. No, wh where are you? Uh, so Sonoma County, coastal near the near the ocean, in the redwoods. Um, okay. It's three hours north of San Francisco. Now, is anybody like, wait, so is anybody in the community, there's, you hear coughing going on? Oh, yeah. Oh, I was so sick, you guys, for like. <laughs> you have it. Yeah, exactly. Oh, like, so, what, 
Talk to me about it. What happened? How long so, ago? What are the symptoms? What, talk to me. I'm so glad we're in Zoom and that we're not near you. But okay, now, now talk. Now I'm ready. <laughs> okay, go, go. Okay. So my boyfriend is named Max. Okay. And he really should be on this call right now. He's hilarious. He's not here. Um, he came back from India because we are responsible for providing like billions of books to replenish all the Tibetan monasteries. Of and course. so we make do. millions of books. Um, Max actually runs the book bindery here mm -hmm. and it, he's pretty incredible. He's like super smart. But um, anyways, so he's there distributing books, mm -hmm. feeding millions of people in India. Um, he makes money offerings to them. And so the joke was that Max is the host. And so he comes back from India and then Gloria never gets sick. Gloria and the third person never gets sick. And somehow I get sick and I'm just like hacking everywhere. And he gets sick and he never gets sick. Anyways, this was before we were talking about Corona. But it still could have been it, right? Like yeah. how when, before? Was it February or? That was, that was early Feb. That, yeah, dude, it was. Uh, early feb we're like oh. super coughing everyone but no one's even talking about corona and the right. only reason right, right. this became like a bigger deal was i was i had this amazing alaska trip planned right, right. i was gonna stop in seattle my family had all these things planned my dear friend in alaska we had all these wonderful things planned. it was like my self-care trip mm -hmm. and it was supposed to be march 13th i was supposed to leave and all the news was coming out and we have like 50% of our population here is probably like 65 and up, 60 and up. So, and then our llama is 83. So he doesn't live on property, but we have people going back and forth to his property. So we didn't want anyone carrying it to him. And so then it became a thing. And then we all sat down with the community members, like 20 of us, because guys, living in community is no joke. I mean, Diamond Lane is one thing, but like, 20 yeah. people from Five people. all sorts of cultures that you're not really choosing to live with. <laughs> Ooh, some, some deep negotiations. Curious, like, woo, opinions and surrender and acceptance and silence. But anyway, so we had this big meeting about what to do, and we decided we're going to close the retreat center. I was like, fine, I don't want to cancel my trip, but I understand that it's important and responsible to do. So March 12th, we had the conversation, closed our doors March 13th. I remember this. And we've been pretty much doing this. It seems like that was the point, March 12th. Like March 11th, the Joe Rogan podcast came out with the virologist. March 12th, everybody, it seemed like, was like, okay, That's shit. Serious. Yeah, yeah, this is like, you know, that was the day everyone, I think, finally got that, wait a minute, you can pass it and not have symptoms. That was the new, like yeah. nobody really thought that. The, the narrative up until March 12th was, it's a flu-like symptoms for most people unless you're fucking 127. Like everyone was like, okay, so you get the flu, just don't be a fucking old person. Just as long as you're not an old person, which was still kind of fucked up, but that was the narrative, right? It's still like, well, they're fucking old, they're 90, you made it far, good game, like high five. And there was a China and in and Italy. Oh, China, oh, was there right. but but come the eleventh, it's airborne. Now it's yeah. Now it's airborne. No now symptoms instead of just one, and it was like evolving fast. Oh boy! And then it was just like, and you could just watch everybody. It was like the stadium, like the whole world was a stadium, and we're watching the wave happen. And it's just like we're just in slow motion. We're like you know two whole weeks behind the thing or <clears throat> two whole whatever it is months maybe we're like behind how fast we should have been reacting right yeah. it's like and now it's just scary like even josh green our lieutenant governor here in hawaii Laura, he was saying like it is it's like just being on the shore and you're just watching you know wuhan italy new york san francisco you know seattle shut down shut down hawaii is just like oh, i wonder if they should close the border i don't know Oh, I'm, like, I'm like just having a mustache and, you know, not giving a shit about my people, you know, and it's just this whole, it's this whole, like, what can you do about it? I can't, I just, ukulele on Zoom. <laughs> we're gonna die, we're gonna die, what can I do about it? And it's not even gonna be, it's like, it's not even we necessarily, but 
aunties, uncles, brother, sister, cousin. And now there's so many cases like really right. young people in their twenties. And right, it's not even about yeah. So the narrative has changed so fast, right? It's like anyone immunocompromised, and then now the narrative was even like, okay, I thought it was problem. yeah, I thought it was elderly and immunocompromised. How come it happened to two fucking ninety year old so and so, and he was the healthiest of all? Now that's the you know stories are coming out like that. So it's like, oh fuck. You know who I want you on your show is, can you call Saba for your show? I ple- I want to, I, you know, I just don't like, I don't know, everybody's so busy, I hate to know who to bug, but tell her, tell her please just like, I do this uh, at every day at 420, we just try to put something up, right? So I'll probably put this up, you know, tomorrow and at 420 and just put it up because I can't, I'm, I can't go live anymore. It's just too busy. It's hard to get. Yeah. Through, so I just figured, yeah, we record this now, I'll put it up later. Internet yeah. connections are difficult. Yeah. This, Why, who's, who's Saba and what is... Uh... Oh, yeah. oh, so Saba's, um, you met her probably at some point. She's my best friend from high school. Um, Give her a link right now. Where is she? I'm yeah, her. she's in Hawaii. She's on the front lines. She's a nurse practitioner, like a lead, uh, like a lead nurse for her right. departments or whatever. Um, and she teaches. So she yeah. has to teach nurses how to nurse. <laughs> Yeah. in the hospital um so she just has some funny stories about uh, just the covid and and people obviously freaking out but also she had a, i think a few patients so far with covid and uh they i think they delivered the patient with um like the cops and the firemen came with them <laughs> no way i think everyone had like their hazmat suits on and some and the firemen after like after Saba admitted the patient, they like sprayed her down with Lysol. <laughs> Holy <laughs> crap. Funny stories. But like, she comes home every day to two kids and her husband and she has a whole routine on how she re enters the home and takes her clothes off and Wow. wow. So you should talk to her. Yeah. her. God. Oh. Yeah, we were listening to a podcast from a Hawaii doctor saying that like already before the coronavirus, they run about two weeks deep in like supplies. And if if you know, I mean, that's about how deep they're, and so they're all already on the edge just even before the fucking coronavirus. But now, shit, dude, we're gonna have to bust out Frank DeLima's moo-moos and start fucking cutting shit up, making fucking makeshift makeshift action. Take the fucking aunties out from the rocking chairs. Sawing fucking, you know, I revolution. Um, Bro, I'm scared of that. Why? Because like I said, our dental offices are usually like a month, but again, like hospitals have so many more masks to wear or whatever, probably, but it just seems like. Yeah. Well, it's going to be like false security. You wear auntie's muumuu on your face. Oh, I know. Oh, I have so many questions about the state of things in Hawaii, but I right now I want to ask each of you three, maybe all four of us, one to ten. Mm, yeah, I, I don't know. I don't know. Is it the level of fear, level of concern? What's the well, question? What's the question? The level. Is it one to ten well, of how much you think this is like apocalyptic, or maybe should we talk about what's our wager on? Like, is it June? Is it going to be December right. where we're going to no longer need to shelter in place? Basically, what is the most realistic assessment of the problem at hand? We don't want to overestimate it. We don't want to underestimate it. But if we were to try to just say, what is this thing in front of us? Because if you look down the line, right, the problem is, I mean, the article just came out today. It's like, you know, Hawaii News Now is like, you know, even with the stay-at-home, work-at-home orders in place from the Hawaii government, it seems uh, as if tourists and even locals are not adhering to these things yeah. or whatever, right? And they show pictures there of like Waikiki. Be, they shouldn't even be allowed to come Right. Here. That's number one. There's, right. There's- so it's like if one side of the world is screaming, hey, there's this airborne infectious disease that's shutting down the entire globe. So hey, just, hey, warning. Hey, guys, stay inside your house and wash your hands and don't touch your face like I'm doing right now for this stupid metaphor. I keep going to do this. Don't fucking, you know, because you can spread this invisible thing. You, can, you not have any symptoms. You pass it on. Maybe you get sick. Maybe you don't. But uh, it fucks with everybody's lungs and maybe your throat and maybe the rest of your shit. And maybe it shuts down your immune system. Maybe your immune system reacts so 
fucking strongly, there's a cytokine storm of over white blood cells and it shuts you down that way and there's inflammation, there's damage to the cells. And maybe you should just do all these scientifically suggested things to avoid a shutdown of not only the markets and economy, the total fail, but the death of a lot of humans randomly plucked like Thanos snapping his finger. And then the other half is like, nah. What's the question for all of us? Therefore, to ask therefore, them. you put you put them together and you should get we, the should we the calculation. Nine point seven. Right. So is Wei more on the side of like, oh yeah, we better do all those science things that Ryan was rattling off way too fast, or is Wei going, ah, nah? <laughs> okay. No, but personally, personally, your personal feeling, one to ten. But okay. I, someone has to ask, I, ask ask the correct question. Right, I have to think about that, but I do feel like um, it just, it's all dependent on how much we respond. I have a feeling that it's going to stay like, we're going to do this half-assed thing for a very long time, right. and it's just going to be drawn out. And my guess is, I'm, I'm going to say, I'm going to say five or six months at least. That's just my guess. I don't think, I, and I think it'll be worse if we open everything back up at Easter, like the president wants to do. I think it's, we're going to get like a surge because it's not anywhere near gone. I think that because there, people are not getting tested because there's lack of tests, that there are way more people out here that are positive and don't know it. So in, until they really start enforcing everyone to stay home. And, you know, I just sent that. Did you get the thing, Mikey, this morning? I sent in that group chat. They, um, uh, People they're tracking how much how many people are staying home based on their cell phone usage. It's cool. Oh yeah, I saw that. C. So like we're, a, we're graded a C. So oh, like, who's graded Hawaii? Hawaii. Yeah, right. Hawaii so like they have the data for like if you were to track all the cell phones owned by everyone in America, including Hawaii, they track it. They can see if your number is at home or if it's be out at Ala Moana or you, your shit is up at Tantlins, right? So as far as staying home is concerned, we get a C. Like we, we were not graded very well, right? So uh, coming back to the question, what's your level of concern? Shit be high yeah. in the state of high. <laughs> okay, so for Ryan today in this moment, what's your one to 10? One, ah, we good. Like 10, fuck. I mean, this is, I don't mean to be trite and just plug my radio station, but it's about 93.9. <laughs> <laughs> so fucked. And I, and I say that, with hope that, and that's why I keep on like blasting these podcasts out and putting up memes and articles. I'm like, my hope is like, shit, okay, if all I got is that, you know, that, that little percent left, then, then I want to shoot for it. You know, I'm not, I'm not going to be pessimistic about it in the sense of my action, mm -hmm. but I want to be realistic in the sense as like, fuck, I'm watching all these people dis you know, just out there. They're still touching. They're still sharing. Yeah. I can hear people on Facebook, like they're writing like this, like, what? Why this? And it's like, you know, the president said Easter, brah, so I'll see you guys in church because the president said Easter, fuck you. And then so I worry about that. Like, you know what I mean? These are very realistic things that if it happens, the virus is no respecter of a person. The virus doesn't go, you know what? You're right. It's been long enough. I'm not going to stop. I'm going to stop taking over the, the, you know, replicating machinery of your cells and I won't hijack it and take over your system and attack you anymore. Because you know what? It's, it's Easter. Right. And I don't want to ruin your health, your egg hunts. Like the virus is fucking just cold hearted snake. Look and, into your eyes. And, you know, and the, the virus will show you the meaning of the resurrection. <laughs> <laughs> Resurrect, replicate, and That's take like, you all out. I want to hear the what Tina has to say. I want to hear Tina's one to 10 or Ryan used one to 100. <laughs> I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say like a really strong eight. Like my fear is just that people, you know, like, they're okay. I don't have many friends on Facebook, maybe like, I don't know, a little over a hundred or something. It's not, not very many people. And so it's, that's even more concerning for me that he, okay, he has 4,000 people, you know, plus, right. And so every 40, once in a while, 40, oh, let's sorry, not, almost 5,000 people. Really. And so like every once in a while, he may get like a conspiracy theory or something here and there, but it's all over my Facebook. And, you know, I, I have enough friends with like ex coworkers and stuff who are posting pictures on the beach. And it's like, he comes out and he's like, look, we need to stay at home. 
but I understand because I have to take, I have to jog three days a week for sure. So I understand for your mental health, if you need to get outside, just keep your distance, you know? And so if everyone thinks like that, then everyone's going to be outside because who in Hawaii moved to Hawaii to stay inside? You know what I mean? So Not a damn person. Yeah. So there's a tons of people out still and you know, it's unfortunate, but I don't know. It just it it's it is I'm a little fearful. I'm worried about it. So my fear level is is a pretty strong let's say, oh, strong eight. Yeah. Right. That's what, I like that. Mikey, what is, what is it? All right. <laughs> let, me, let me whisper. Let me whisper. <laughs> no, no, no. I think um I think it, it all depends on the timeline, yeah. So if if you say like we're gonna go uh, five six months um, with with uh, with the shutdown shut in, I think it's big time eleven, okay? Oh. Because I think because I think the the economy is gonna be is is gonna go to to hell now. So, but having said that, I think um, I think the solution lies in in testing and and medication, yeah. And so every day I see, I see, uh, oh, we got this next, we got this test that can um, uh, let you know in 15 minutes. Okay. And then so, or, or three hours, I saw a three hour one, I saw a 15 minute one. And so, and then my, my brain says, okay, how much does it cost? How much does it cost per test? Oh, is it $15? Okay. Why don't every jackass, uh, why don't government get everyone in the in this world to get tested and then we'll figure out isolate it and and you know and go from there and instead of giving everyone twelve hundred dollars why don't we spend fifteen dollars and and get everyone tested so i think if the testing is there i think the the the, the solution for um for isolation will be can be quick and expedient and therefore i think um it, it the level of concern I'm very optimistic for that. And then, and then number two is what's the, what's the um, effective medication? Yeah. And, and then, and then, so I see, you know, a lot of things, you know, floating around. Okay. The malaria, well, the methane, thing. right. <laughs> or whatever, what is, methanol, methanol. <laughs> okay. Yeah. And so, and, and, and I don't know what's, what's true or, or, um, you know, fake news or what have you, but I think um, if, if we get close enough to, to, to treat so that um, you know so that people aren't aren't dying like flies, then then I think with those two things in conjunction, I think we're we'll be pretty good. So I think maybe if if we're shut in for one month, two months, um, I think we can recover pretty well. Um, so it, it it's somewhere between that. It's somewhere between a a a, a two and a and an eleven. You know, so between two and eleven. It just Aren't depends. You a fucking like uh, oceanic cable like worker. I'll be at your house for, uh, between the windows of uh, eight a.m. to seven p.m. <laughs> and then, and then, like a Lowe's worker, I come tomorrow. <laughs> no, Mike, I love that. I love that, and I want to answer, but I want to hear Sophia real quick. Does she know the question? Oh, just talking to a friend this morning and her friend told her literally that he has the virus and but symptoms are not that bad but he knows because he tested so he has flu symptoms and he went to the store to do his shopping and this is what scares me it's people like that and, and, and it's all over. It's everywhere. You know, this person is just assuming that his symptoms is not so bad. But thinking about the other people that he's spreading to may not react like well to it. And with all of this that we are reading, and this is a well-informed person, and if that person that is well-informed is doing that kind of shit, you imagine, so I, I, my fear is really people underestimating it until they know somebody that died. And then they take it serious. Right. Some people, they have to know somebody that dies. Right. In order to take it seriously. Unless 
they feel like it's a fiction. Oh, you know, that's just what you know dude. they're getting. Yeah. So therefore, therefore, I'm scared. I mean, think about it. Every are you are you like at a 10, 11, 9? Me? Oh, I'm on a hundred. Oh, I really like honestly, I've been taking this seriously. Like I'm even I. I just went downstairs to the pool the other day thinking, I need sun, I need to get out. It's so hard to just go to the pool. Mm -hmm. Super careful and all that. Don't touch the elevator. But then I realized that we got to the pool, we sat on the chair, we touched the table, we put our towels on the table, then we used the towel. Uh, Yes, the pool has chlorine, and the virus probably does not survive in the chlorine, but right? yeah. what about the things that we thought well, yeah, accidentally? Yeah, there's conflicts on that. Thinking open. that we were careful. Uh, chlorine kills the virus. Yeah, the careful. Well, yeah. going back to Mikey, what you said, um, we were just listening to, who was it that said, um, one of the doctors or something said, that there, the problem with the testing is going to be, there's going to be a uh, a shortage because the where they manufacture the test kits are North, in Italy Northern and it's shut down. So it ain't gonna be no test. So all these it's people coming about, out with tests yeah. is not le necessarily legit. And that's why people are getting false readings. People are getting false positives. I hear all kind of different tests. I, I heard like a, a California school made one. I hear like all kind of, so I mean, you know, I mean, but how about, how about some of these societies that are, that are testing well, you know? I don't know, Japan, South Korea, I mean, the Let's question. get some of those. Well, that's the sure. question is if those tests are actually correct, right? And then how long have we been saying, and I'm talking about all 195 countries of the globe, how long have we been saying, why don't we just do what Japan's doing? And nobody, who can do that? Nobody does right. that. Right. Japan just I does everything before. better. <laughs> so even if you have good intentions, go like, look, just let's just copy Japan. Look, nobody, we don't have, we can't copy Japan. They're just better. They're more well, organized. Japan is more <laughs> compliant. Wait, why not? Why? Totally. Everyone in Japan, there's no one out in Japan. It's as busy and on top of each other. Everyone is. It's everyone the, uh, is sitting the fuck at home. Well, because they and, like, and plus can't do it. They were doing the SARS masks like since SARS, and they never stopped. Right. They just do it. They just like you don't That's get to see my face. Fuck it. This is just what life is. Fuck me. Fuck me. Life's sad. I don't get to show face. Oh well. Safe, safety, safety first. You know what I mean? I mean. I mean, wasn't Trump like telling, mandating certain company, companies to to uh, make respirators or, or you know, make yeah. right. you know, have you so let let's make some yeah. effective, make some make some effective uh, tests, fire it up, and let's get going. Uh, Easter, that's good because the whole world's gonna open back up. So hurry up, <laughs> hurry up, ventilators. Okay. All right, and Gloria. Then, oh. then, uh, just one more thing. And then we have, like, he has a friend that works in a hospital right. as an X-ray expert. And he is not allowed to wear a mask. Right? Then there are people in the airline industry. And they were not allowed to wear a mask until actually the news, airline people dying. Oh, now you can wear the mask. Where they... Send messages to the employees. You cannot wear the mask because the mask does not protect you. Yada yada yada. Oh no, you can wear the mask, but you have well, to. Well, you know it. what? There. I mean, to be fair, right? Well, I mean, there was a lot of confusion with that. At first, it was like everybody trying to wear the mask, and then the article started coming out. Hey, wait a minute! Like, if you wear the mask this way, it's actually worse for you, right? So there was just a lot of. So I don't know. Maybe the airlines were just trying to follow what was right. And, and the then type they, of and mask, then, right? It's not an N95 yeah. mask. It doesn't. Yeah. I don't know, but wouldn't you let people do what they think is better for them? Uh, you know, I I see where you're coming from, but it gets very. Not if it could. Not if it, it could hairy. spread it more. Like I don't think people realize um, what goes into. You think it's something simple, right? You just right. wear a mask. Yeah. But if you don't know what it means to wear a mask that is of um, like cotton material that the virus will stick to and yeah, live on. Right. And then you take it off and you don't take it off the right way. And then you touch something and I then the cross contamination is just so, so. So in the same way how globalization with airplanes have made the virus like hop on planes and get to the world faster than even back a hundred years ago, 1918 when this first happened to us. And that was just like soldiers from the world war one 
traveling. This is 10 times faster. You know, so it is with someone who uses the mask and doesn't apply the right, like, you know, implementations, right? They literally provide a tiny transport system for it to get, you know, other places, right? So it just gets confusing. Like, so maybe airlines are going like, fuck, I don't, what do you want me to do? Mask bad then? Okay, no mask. Oh, someone died? Okay, I can't wear a mask. I mean, I can see how that can be like fucking confusing. Yeah, if there is an endless supply sure. of N95 masks for everybody. Right, right, right. Then of course, right. it keeps the coronavirus out. Right, wear right. it, throw it away, get Looks a new cool. one every time. You talk like Bane. Yeah. There's a lot of ups, but you know, and when there's not a lot of fucking resources. Right, then it's like, look, let the people who really need those masks, let those people. And then it becomes like mask shame where it's like hey how come you wearing masks what you on the front line nah i don't think so I fuck up. take them off take them off my mom came over <laughs> yesterday and she came over wearing two masks oh, I like, wow oh, shame. I, like, I know no no the whole mask nah, shame is is the thing right i, I got I got N95, but they're, they're saying there's all these shortages, right? But hey, I've been using this same one, reusing it. That's bad. That's where it's like you are cross-contaminating. You can't have- not, not, if, not if you get the UV rays on it, number one. Number two, two three days of, of wait time. Number four is maybe some alcohol spritz. Aren't there ways around it? Read the articles we said to you, Mikey. You're so misinformed and shame. I do it, did. You just read the title and go yeah. past, don't you? Wait, wait. How, how long? How long does it last on this? How long does the coronavirus last on this? Days, especially huh? days. 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 The material, right? You are. Not, you're supposed. You have it in your hand like this. You're supposed to hold it from the hook. You don't ever touch the top. You're of getting the schooled mask. online, like, baby. Shut up. It's, that's why I'm saying <laughs> misinformation. This is why, Sophia. This is why we can't have airline people wearing masks because you'll spread it so much faster. If you touch it, you know what people do? I've seen people do this. My mom just did it yesterday and I scolded her. She took it off, put it on the counter so carefully. She ate her food and then put it back on. I'm like, girl, if we, if you're worried that I have the coronavirus and you're wearing a mask in this house, and then you just put it back on your face, you just put it in your mouth. Like, you, what are you doing, you know? How about UV rays, UV rays and um, alcohol? No, it's a, it's a, got a fatty layer on the outside, which is Lipid. Really easy to That's the scientific. Right. Do. And you have to kill it with heat. Or, or soap. Okay, well, so I'm going to interject. <laughs> please, please interject. Yes, please. thank you. Can we hear um, So everything that just happened is kind of like interesting to me because this is based on information that we are receiving or not receiving right. what people are reading or not reading whether we have access or not access are we on our phones looking for the news looking for the education yes. um and so this is why my meter is like a two to eleven mikey because in <laughs> some senses it's like Bruh, we like, it's all one love and, you know, my Buddhist prayers are going to just help <laughs> stave this whole thing off. <laughs> and then it's all like 11 because we're so just, we're, it's time. We're humans are a virus to the planet. This is our time to exit stage left, you know, and it's okay. I'm okay with it. But it, it could be apocalyptic of like bodies piling up like dead bodies piling up. Um, so, so the more important question, so that was my answer of the two to 11, is like how everything that we're talking about and you guys are doing this every day, whatever you're doing, how is this changing you personally? How, it, does it change your happy meter? Does it change your compassion meter? Does it open your heart? Does it close your heart? Does it make oh, you, do, how do you feel about death? Like, does this feel like exciting? Like, let's go. Like, I mean, a yes to all of it a little bit you know, <laughs> in, in different portions, right? It's like, come on, I mean, no, seriously, right? Because it's like, am, yeah. I, am, I, am I more open and more like, even right now, just seeing your faces and seeing you and they're right here, right now, and I can't be there, but so we're settling for this, but now I'm like really embracing it. I'm like, oh my God, I love you guys, miss you guys, and I'm. I, it's already my meters up my like I don't feel I don't care if that's corny I don't care if it's like I just I, you know what I mean oh, I love you too you know what I'm saying and it's like that so that's open but I'm a little bit more closed when I see like us uh, the you know former CEO of Wells Fargo say like 
look, man, if you're under 55, get back to work. Look, are some people going to die because of that move? Sure, they are. But look, what do you want? An economy to fucking fail? I'm like, dude, heart closes a little bit in that situation. I'm just like, watch him burn. Set the fire to his genitals. And let me throw darts at it for fun. But, but is he wrong? I mean, is he wrong? I mean, we're all partially right in this. And this is yeah, what I'm no, so interested in, in our interdependence, that yeah, everyone's yeah. experience matters. Yes. And the guy but, with the COVID, for his own sanity, right? Sophia, this guy that you're talking about, I can only imagine some people, they just still need to get the fuck out and get, go to their grocery store. Like, I know that that's probably real for him. And so I'm interested in that. It's, it's like, what is health? Like, what is health? But, okay, well, I want to go back to like, I do think that's a good point that everybody has their point of view. You try to be open. So I'm trying to be open to what a, you know, uh, a white male billionaire's feelings are in context to the rest of us having to fight after scraps. And so the guy on top suggesting that everyone goes back to work and is what will so ready and willing to sacrifice the workforce for what he considers a, you know, obviously worthy payment. It's a worthy payment. Like guys, come on. Like I know you guys, your grandpas, your grandmas, your aunties and uncles are going to die, but think about it, man. Come on. Think about it. You know, we're going to take a hard hit now well because he has money to be made that's know? my point like, so yeah. like yeah. I, so it's showing it's showing people's priorities right and and everyone's circumstance is different so i mean yeah. like that, that multi-gazillionaire who wants another gazillion based on on people's lives right. it shows his lack of of uh you know value for other people's life you know versus versus like i can understand if you, you're a mom and pops shop you know, and you're gonna go bankrupt because of this, you know, then then okay, maybe maybe some curbside delivery or something like that. Yeah. You know You know, like in surgery, they make you drink the blue drink sometimes and then so they take the picture and then all the fucking uh, cancer cells are lit up or I don't know I know they have some shit like that they do for some fucking disease. I don't know what it is, but I don't know what it is. Yeah, but they they somehow die a certain thing. Uh, yeah, so that, that when they take the x ray, shit lights up, right? This crisis is that die. And then just fucking out of nowhere, everybody reveals their cards. Like, did you cheer for the shutdown? Did you try to share the information? Did you see that a lot of people weren't getting the information and realize, oh shit, we need a revolution of fucking individual civilians to like join forces and try to like join any kind of the revolution of thought, revolution of sewing, fucking mass revolution of helping with food drives, the revolution of supporting local business, revolution of uh, getting services help to the fucking elderly that they don't have right now, revolution of, you know, whatever it is that we can do to help, right? To me, this blue dye of a crisis shows if you were on that team or are you on the team of like, look, man, my boss is going to die. It's probably not going to be me. So can, uh, the last thing I want is to have discomfort with any of the fucking luxuries I've come accustomed to. You know, and it's like, I, I think it's important to see who and what is where so that we can move forward uh, in a way that's better for everybody. So that might mean some motherfuckers got to be left behind and feel the wrath of their horrible decisions. <laughs> you know? So, Ryan, personally, how are you feeling about um, uh, I don't know, the economy and what, what is right to do? Um, when is it okay for us to one, give people sort of some people have sanity by doing something right. right? right. Contributing, right. going to work, whether it's their job or not, right. but we need to give people something to do for their right. own sanity. Um, how do you, how do you envision the economy looking if, if we want to, yeah. I don't know, keep this going somehow right. well, so like, that everyone can get fed, so that everyone can get shelter. Yeah. But how, do, how does this life, how does this world look like if certain corporations shut down and money is different? How do we, what do you, what do you think? Well, I mean, I think it's like, first of all, we have to understand that it's a situation of we're in a fork in the road and that it's, a, it's sometimes in life as, it, as the universe would have it. One road is suck a porcupine dick with poison on it. And then the other road is suck a really big dick with more porcupines and more poison. And 
more in pain. So uh, maybe that's a, a biased metaphor because I see that as gr a gross uh, uh, metaphor. <laughs> but like, they both suck. They both are shitty like uh, roads to take. But that's sometimes, right? <laughs> or you know, choose whatever metaphor: eat poop or eat poop with like you know a sprinkle of sugar on it. It's like I don't want poop at all. But if I'm gonna take poop, might as well. Oh shit! The sh is there the one? Can I guess? Give me the one with the sugar. Like if you saw Kill Bill, remember like. Uma Thurman was about to be put buried underground alive, and then you know Michael Madsen's character, you know, was like, "Look now, I was gonna give you this flashlight to be buried with, but if you don't fucking act right, stop being such a cut. I'm gonna spray this mace into your eyeballs, and I'm gonna send you in there blind. Now, which is it gonna be?" And he had the fucking mace up here, and he had the flashlight, and Uma Thurman's looking at the mace, and she's looking at the fucking flashlight, and she goes. To the flashlight. Take the flashlight. I want the world to be Uma Thurman and realize, look, bitch, you got two choices. Stop fucking around, otherwise we're gonna have our eyeballs burnt with mace. Take the flashlight. The fucking flashlight, goddamn. So that's all it is. I know it sucks. Like, no, I don't want. I'm losing my jobs. I'm watching my stocks go down. So I'm trying to be proactive, learn about the market. She's gonna go clean right now. That inspired her to clean. I, I don't like any anything you tell me that might be a negative from having to shut down early or do the hard choice that is at least slightly better than the other hard choice, then I'm gonna agree with you. But it's still better than getting mace burning our eyeballs out. You know, so that's what I think. I think the thing we have to do, I agree with Bill Gates. Look, and with Mikey said, let's get the tests out, let's get as much of an accurate read as we can, let's let's Take the rip the band-aid off and suffer a little bit with the economy. We're gonna take a hit, but that's better because the quicker we do it, the more efficient we do it, the more we actually kill this virus and not just a political, it looks like we're doing something about it. The quicker we can actually get back on our feet and get the fucking uh, economy moving again. You know and, I mean? and I think this is should be a wake-up call for a lot of people um, that right now is the time to learn new skills, yeah, pick up yeah. new, you know. Right. new habits and right. you know um try to just try to better ourselves i think that you know no one was prepared for this kind of situation and right. it's like why but why why wouldn't we be why like we see natural disasters all around the world we see you know a lot of things right. um happen to a lot of people and we always just think nah not us you know and that's just silly that's a silly way to think and right. i think we now is the time to like better prepare ourselves for a different type of world and uh, you know, so like learn, learn something new, learn what you can find different ways of income. I think, you know, right now is the time passive income. Oh yeah. We'll just, don't, I don't want to have to take, we can't go to the hospital. Tina, what kind of skills are important right now? Nice. Well, I think, um, you know, like we were talking, um, yeah, last night about, uh, his friend Jody was saying that she knows someone who's completely against uh, social media. Mm -hmm. And I think that we need to like people like that, like you need to like get with the times, like this is what it is. Like you need, you got to learn how to do stuff. Um, interacting over. Yeah. yeah interacting, But technology. not only that, like, why can't you find ways to monetize, you know, your whatever, like for, we have he had another friend we were talking to the other day who paints. And so, She's like, I don't know what I'm gonna do. I can't go to work, so I'm just sitting in here painting. It's like, well, why don't you try selling your paintings like while you're painting them, and just put your link, your Venmo link in your description, and maybe you'll have them sold by the time you actually get done painting it, right? right. I mean, we just need to start getting creative about the things that we can, the the things that we can do. Right, like we're talking about. Do you remember? Remember Kale, Kale Chang from Rain? Yeah. Right? And he put up on his Facebook the top ten uh, tips for going live on Facebook and IG. And we were just commenting on it because it's such a, it's like such a beautiful uncle spirit. He just grabs all the, he goes, hey, Hawaii musician community. Let me grab your ear. Let me grab your ear. Okay. And he's like, okay, Uncle Kyle, I'm going to tell you something. Okay. Number Put one. Put your clothes on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was number two. Number one was like, you know what? Do it. Go live. You know why? Because because now's the time. Can, can. Dust off, dust off the old ukulele. But, you know, brush your hair. Brush your teeth. Put on some clothes. You know what I mean? Test the lighting. You know what I mean? Go get one sound check. 
Like, you know what I mean? Put on a Aloha shirt on. Like, you know, don't just make that kind of thing. This is your time. Like, I show up. I that he said like, this, but I don't know if he talks. No, he doesn't. <laughs> I just hear it like that in my head because it's so, that's the uncle character in my head. I was like, hey, you know what? It's I can so see funny. him. I can see all the young people of Hawaii with the ukuleles and their hula and their TikTok dance and all just listening to Uncle Kale, like, break it down. Like, you know what? You're right, and he just and he, yeah, and he's like moaning everybody. It's like, guys, we're in a new world already. He's like, and then one of the thing is like, and you know what? Put your Venmo nice and clear out there. You know, don't verbally ask everybody every song. Just like let people put the Venmo. But these are all just very practical tips. But the spirit was there, the heart was there. You know, and then answer that question of like, what are the skills that are are, are needed right now? I mean, it's like, yeah, oh well, yeah, we we're you know, it's like you said. I mean, mental health is a part of it. You know, the arts. You know, the arts to me, as the stock market goes down, the arts value is starting to rise up. I mean, who doesn't, who doesn't need, uh, I saw somebody say like, if you say the arts aren't that valuable, try and quarantine without music, movies, books, books dance, porn. whatever it is, right? And it's like, yeah, everything's shifting, you know. Uh, the economy is basically a transaction of global desires trying to be met, right? So if, if, the desires and needs change, which right yeah. now, right now, boy, do we need a song? Boy, do we need a, do we need, you know, love and sweetness and kindness and a laugh? And we need- Let's sing a song. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Even though it's on delay, you tell me. Let's do uh, some Bob. Yeah, you gotta cultivate those skills, bro. You know what I mean? A bad thing. And we have to like get the delay right. Right. Cause that little thing is gonna, gonna be, be all right. Maybe I gotta sing before you. Uh, that's right. <laughs> sing it, don't worry about a thing. Cause every little thing is gonna be all right. <laughs> you know what? You know, we're gonna figure it out though. This yeah, you just, gotta do it like. Yeah. This was yeah. just an experiment. Now it's the more, next one we're gonna. Since it's delayed, you could do the, you know, like. Row, row, row. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> no, but so no one's. I mean, we kind of talked about it. Mikey is working on his plants. No, no, no. I, and and I, I got some thoughts. I mean, like I think I think all of that definitely work on your skills. Um, you know, I think it's going to become more and more of a virtual world. But I think I think um, mass monetizing that would, is is going to be a uh, pretty difficult and especially for these artists and stuff like that um i just i just do i mean you know i like to buy them a cup of coffee but shit you know okay you got you got some you can drink a little bit you might be able to eat but you still need a roof over your head you know and then and then i, I saw this which i thought was really interesting uh, oh, yeah. that's right you know what uh, what other countries are doing right and it's kind of like the the andrew yang ubi um i heard canada's even more than that two thousand a month plus uh, more like i don't know it was like other aren't you supposed to use your screen share that's okay that's fine that's so anyway. ghetto ghetto yeah, you know plus plus i you know i heard that that ruins the, the connection a little bit so but i mean it's like you know what is what is our country doing versus other countries right. you know um, maybe a little bit more socialistic uh, view uh, yeah. would be helpful to our people, especially going forward, you know, taking care of the people. I mean, like we're finding out right now, I mean, like how many, what percent of the, of our nation is, is living paycheck to paycheck, you know, who's, who's unemployed right now. Uh, Mikey, by the way, uh, to take you off your pants and bend over your, uh, your uh, proctology exam is ready to begin. No. <laughs> I, I have two cents on this. I, I really just feel like isolation, isolation, isolation is the key. If we isolate it for two weeks, 100%, I think the economy is more likely to come back sooner. But the part about the economy, economy, they don't isolate the people, the thing going, keep going further and further and further, and, and then we are destroying our economy. So that's what I don't understand. People are so worried about the economy, but they don't isolate. Yeah. So I, I, 
know, just make two cents, I'll go back to the wing. That was, that was a good two cents. I love that. Don't, don't touch your glove. I'm following the conversation while I'm working. I'm one of those. <laughs> I think I may be ADD or something. I gotta be doing something. No, I love it. I love it. <laughs> well, yeah, no, I mean, I think, I think that's, that's human nature, right? I mean, human nature is, uh, in general, we, we have a harder time making the short-term sacrifices for the long-term gain, right? And then doing that as a collective world, you know, good luck. Do you right? think that's an American thing? Instant gratification. No, yeah. it's not like, I mean, if any time that we were wondering if it's just an American thing, the whole globe has proven no, it's not. Everybody's pretty fucked up about this. I, I mean, their independence. And it's, not, and it's almost weird, like the people who got it right, you got it right for a weird reason, right? It's because your government is so fucking like, got you like slavery, oh, yeah. yeah, like under their boot, that it's weird like how that almost serves as an accidental good thing right now. Like, you know, hey, get your asses inside or I'll shoot you. Well, like, not only that, but the people can who work. are getting it right, like <laughs> right Singapore, now. right? They had the problem already okay. and, they're, and they learn from it and they're like, hell no, we ain't doing this shit again. Right, so you know but what's interesting though, it's not like the Singaporeans are better necessarily, but their government for whatever reason took it more seriously. Right. So it they, has to be on that level, kind of right? It has to be on a level where they fucking fund it. And you know what I mean? Because what the average Singaporean can say, I vote we be ready for this. But if if the government doesn't actually act on it, then when the pandem uh, pandemic happens, it's not like you're going to make a dent in those numbers. But Singapore kind of did. So they, you know, their government was ready for it. But who, who else was like that? Not many people. You know what I mean? One skill that we probably should try to develop is... Uh, farming <laughs> because the thing is we talk about social media and wi-fi but it's like you know and you guys know this i mean this is why i was so inspired by jason scott lee back in the day yeah, no, totally. he created i mean we were talking you know big island this is what we talk about we've been talking about peak oil forever and sort of right. the end times of sort of electricity like you know Saba and I talk about like this is nothing compared to when the world actually has to go dark whether or societies have to like really lose power or we really don't have wi-fi or we really don't have electricity or hot water it's like what are the things that matter and probably Essentials. it's like okay just on a human level kindness and sharing and also yeah can we grow our own food and then share uh, can we cook and create our own fires like back in the day, like camping style? You know, I mean, that's that was our life on Big Island for like a minute, right? I was thinking, like, you're, like, Puna. you're like fucking professional. I mean, that's where I'm kind of called to these times because I'm kind of like, I think it's interesting. I'm like, yeah, we've been talking about this Thank shit for a minute and. It's just surprising that it, it's happening with this virus versus, I mean, we also witnessed God, the lava flow was cray last year. Yeah, and yeah, then obviously yeah. fires in Australia, obviously fires here in Sonoma. I did fire. Oh man, this year has been crazy. Yeah, I did fire in that. On the phone, let's talk to him because he probably already had this mentality for so long. I'd love to just get into his mindset, right? Like, Who's this? JSL? Yeah, get Jason Scott Lee onto this. You should. Thing. You know, I e I e the bad guy in uh, Mulan. Oh, for real! In the live action one. Ah. Is he the bad guy? I, know I don't know. No, I don't know if he's the bad guy. But... Yeah, no. Oh, so, I mean, that's what I'm thinking about. So we're on 120 acres here, and all I can really think of, aside from praying, you don't have to believe in prayer, but I believe in it. Um, but that we're actually putting our hands in the earth. No, and that we're like really talking to the planet and if it's not just for our own communion um that you know we are, so are planning you know food for future generations you which is what Jay jason scott lee's whole thing was about he bought his acreage just so his gift to the world would that be when he dies that his property had fruit trees and veggie gardens for whether he was living or not. And that to me is, yeah, perpetuity and posterity. I mean, and that's, that's all bonus. You gave us Mowgli. You don't have to fucking give us Mowgli. <laughs> <laughs> and Bruce Lee. My God. No, no that's, that's definitely a, a, 
important part of the equation, Gloria. And um, I like it. I think there's one government who uh, is sending out like all of its citizens um, seeds, yeah, so that everyone can grow their own gardens for food sustainability. Where's uh, this? Oh, uh, where was it? Was it Spain? Something like that? The government was sent sending out seeds. Um, I thought that was that was super cool, super awesome. Um, yeah, I would love to. I, I plan to gorilla garden the heck out of this island. Actually, I want I want to grow um, uh, malangai, moringa. I want to I want to replace all the keave trees with the the moringa. That's one of my um, gorilla gardening plans. That's uh, yeah, it's been tabled a little bit right now. But we're gonna but, show you our our outside. Nice, nice. You guys have a garden? Have a garden. They got full on. Say what? hi to uh, Tina's one. daughter, Lani. Hi. hi. Wait. Hi, honey. Oh, that's Leia. Hi, Leia. Oh. Silly girl. So cute. <laughs> Wait, so is, does Tina garden or does Ryan garden? <laughs> well, I haven't gardened yet. Oh, no, really like, right. but there's banana trees. Put it this way. They have moved into this garden. Oh, okay. You know, so we got a little space back here. Let's see, we can just walk around. Oh, bruh, kind of acreage, huh? Well, yeah, I mean, yeah. you know, look, the banana axe. Banana what? Axe. Cousin. Ooh, we apples. Money. Selfie. Yeah, we apples over here. We apples. Um, guys, that's kind of amazeball. I mean, it's very amazeball. We love it. It's a... Uh, <laughs> but it's like it was already here when we came in, so I don't know how to actually do anything about well, this. Well, the great thing is whatever's in this yard is like the um, the soil is really great. Did you guys just close on this house? No, no, no. No, no, no. We're renting. We're renting. There's a okay. pomegranate behind right. it. That's a pomegranate. Wait, how many bedrooms is this house? Oh, uh, it's, it's, yeah. It's like, you know why there's a cottage in yeah. outside of it? Three bedrooms in the... um. Right, so. In the the main house, and then two more. In the uh, did, you, did you hook it up? In the Ohana now. Nah. Oh, um, a friend of mine used to live here. You weren't the realtor? I no, they're, they're they're renting. I love and it. And, and, and this is Aina Haina. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. A trampoline. Wait, wait. Ah. And then like right above, right above that is avocado trees. So those avocados just kind of, it's the neighbors, but it three hangs over. And three ten. Hey, Mods. Yeah. Tell, you tell realize Gloria you're what? like wealthy right now. That's like freaking future. Oh my God. currency cousin you better okay so the next conversation is do you have guns no but we have been talking about it we're definitely thinking about it he's, he's got jujitsu <laughs> um, i'm not gonna get you far buddy yeah especially he's got about five classes of jujitsu well i don't even need it right now because ain't nobody trying to stay near me it's social distance time this is our jujitsu world that we're gonna use later on today with the todd tanaka Team HK uh, live video sessions they've been doing. So, you know, shit. We're going to, I mean, but we that, we definitely have that mentality here, right? As like self sustaining. Well, we had the, um, that's, a, that's so, the idea. So there was, a, there's an area where there was a garden there. And it's like, you know, how you have to kind of like, you know, you have to keep it up and replant and stuff, and we just haven't done that. But there's tons of pots and everything. So we've been saying, especially lately, like, okay, it's time. We need to start growing our own vegetables and oh, stuff. Oh, yeah, it's so time. And, um, you know, I don't know. It's just, I just think any and everything that we can do to, like you said, like self-sustain and, um, and then also, um, you know, we're just so stuck on, and I keep going back to like the people that, you know, feel like they have to get out of the house. And so we're so stuck on like the commute and the, and, you know, going, you know, to work nine to five or whatever, like maybe that's just not what we should do. Like you see that the ozone is healing. The planet is healing from what the people that are staying Dude, home. Deaths are down in Chicago right now. That's nuts. <laughs> Right? There's this. <laughs> Everybody's dying. Everyone's dying from a fucking disease. Chicago's like, oh, perfect. Yeah. They're, so, they're on an uptick. Oh, my it goodness. It could be a really great reset. Yeah, you know, it could yeah. be a really great, yeah. like, do over for us to give us an opportunity to, like, be, to be better I, to each other, yeah, better just to the environment. January, this guy, David Wallace Wells, came. He wrote the book, Uninhabitable Earth, uh, you know. And he's talking about climate change, and he was like, fucking all this doomsday stats. Like, guys, we, it used to be we had 100 years. 
and then just five years ago that hundred turned into fifty. Well, guys, this year it's ten. Ten years, man, and we're gonna be fucked. Yeah. And so you know, he was like, and and he's like, and it's not even about. He's like, you know what? It used to be last year. It was like, oh, recycle your bottles, man. Fucking you know, paper straws, you fucking hippies. Let's do it. And then now it's like, it don't even matter, it's too late. If the governments of the world don't do major macro level action, you know, and then that includes sucking carbon out of the air. We can't just even be like, okay, no more carbon emissions, no more papa, stop, stop, time out. We have to proactively go out and go suck it back out with mid billion dollar machines. And it's like, ain't nobody gonna do, like I was just thinking like, fuck, this guy is just telling us to our face and making us pay tickets at the city or at the Kahala Hilton and listen to him that we are fucked. Like, why did I, you know what? No, it was free actually, it was free. But he, that just, that sounded more fun. But he, you know, it's like, we're fucked. And it's like, what can we do about it? He's like, you can't even, even taking that feeling of we can do something about it away from us. And here we go, a fucking month later, when uh, the coronavirus takes over and goes, how about this as an answer? As she coughs and we wonder. You should just spit COVID all over my fucking speakers. Maybe. These are fucking things. Maybe, but guess <laughs> what? I'm taking your speaker outside. <laughs> we're all just going to take, we're just going to fucking, I might have it, you might have it. Let's see what happens. We're all in the, what, let's no, see what let happens. let me tell you, Gloria, what happened. <laughs> Mikey and Sophia went to Brazil. <laughs> <laughs> I saw parts of it, but what, what happened? They came back and we couldn't wait to see them. And we're like, hey, high five. And then he's like, get in here, hugs. When coronavirus. To be fair, to be fair, when none of us really knew. We all laughed. We all kind of so, laughed. Okay, yeah, whatever. That was a Friday, okay? <laughs> that was a Friday. Then one day again, go to this live band karaoke. And then Tuesday, when I tell you, I thought I was going to die. Okay, <laughs> I was so sick. And then or, Wednesday is when, what was March 11th? And then Thursday, March 12th. Two and a half weeks, your, I was like... Fever, coughing. COVID. Oh, yeah. So Corona. It was po it's possible I might have, you know, I didn't go get a test. I just decided that I would not waste a test and I would pretend like I have it. I have no symptoms, but I lost all my hair on this side. The fuck? Wait, so did you guys keep your distance? No. Yeah, yeah. Well, not from yeah. me. Well, we, kind of from each other we did. As much as we could. Yeah, and, you know, this was before they started saying six, week, six feet. But he was like staying in another room. Like I was literally. Yeah, I would like, talk to him in another room. Hey, Tina, can I yeah. go get the car? Bullshit. Bullshit. You guys are doing <laughs> podcasts <laughs> during that it's time. It's the exception I mean, of you guys well, having well, sex. Well, 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 we did not, not tell him. No, not, not till after. later. And we were, <laughs> yeah. But for two and a half weeks, we did social distancing and not knowing that we Look, were. Look, I will say this, weeks. Mikey, I will say this. Even when we came back, was it a bit too soon? <laughs> probably. Probably. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, you know, you wait all this time, right? And you're like, stay away from each other. Well, and then you come back in because the symptoms went the, down. They that said that the mean, virus can yeah. still shed for yeah, up to exactly. five weeks. So, yeah. we, you know. But we're dumb, too. Just as soon as the symptoms went down, and even though we knew that fact, we're like, yeah. yeah. Like, it it's, takes it's, over. Well, uh, it's it the Hawaiian was, in me. That's it was, what it is. It was at that point where I was just like, you know what? I'm, I'm not going anywhere. I'm just going to sit right here. I know. Like, I just, I gave up. I was like, you know what? We're going to be, there's no way, if she has it, you exactly. Know, there's no way I'm gonna avoid it. If, like, if you're living, if you're living together, no, nah, no, nah, it's yeah. so the, the it's like too crazy. But wiping down, I was like, wiping we try, down the you try your best. Right? The same thing. I was doing as much as I could. I um, I didn't leave. I did go to the store once because um, sending him to the store is. It's it's not a, really it's sweet, not and useful. I know he's willing to do it, but it's I just, just... got like spam, Vienna sausages. Hey, hey, frick that, Tina. You say you get your ass back to the store, homeboy, and and, and oh, no, no. read the list that I wrote. Look, look. If, if, if I had it and he had it, him spending an hour in the store to come back with Vienna sausage and lettuce when I asked for cabbage, <laughs> that it was like, okay. Hey. I need to um, just go. Hey, I know I, where if, everything is. I went at night and you know, you know, less people were in there. Hey. I ran in, got what I needed to get, I get, and I was home in 15 minutes. If we got all the cabbage she wanted, she would have a different kind of virus. Yeah. You know, the like irony of, of, of that, this story that you guys are telling me, yeah. is that I have a friend that lives in Anaheina that has lupus, meaning zero immune system. Oh. Same day. She went to Foodland. Same day you went with, when you were coughing and all that. So you know, it's so, innocent. so innocent. And she was innocent because she shouldn't be going to any stores. Period. Right. 
Well, right? Well, the, so well, both you well, and her should not be doing any of that. We all have to go, like, for example, like your friend who tested positive. I mean, if he, if he's, if he can go, if he needs to go to the store for himself, like he just, if that's what it, if he doesn't have anybody to go for him, then that's too bad. And he just has to go for himself. I'm hoping that he did maybe try to cover his mouth, wipe down things, wipe down. Cause I didn't touch, I didn't touch the, um, the shopping cart. I didn't sure. touch, you know, it's like, this you, was, you have this to do sucks. what you can. This sucks, that that, that, per, that yeah. person I talked about is in Sao Paulo. They have home delivery. That person can afford to pay home delivery. And if not, that person does have friends that you could have called and would. Okay, okay well, but this is part of it what is, makes it complex, right? Is that it's not just the touching, right? Apparently, because it's airborne transmission, you can spill this virus out just by exhaling, right? So, and then when you exhale it, it's airborne in the air for like three hours, supposedly, right. before it decays. Right? So, and, and what I'm saying uh, is, me too being naive, you know, I think we're all trying so hard, but we're still all making mistakes. Of course, of course, of course. Better than anybody. Right. Me too, as much as I've been trying to be careful, me too, I am doing mistakes. Yeah, right. No, I think we, we can only, we just have to give our Good. best effort. Yeah. And it, but it just seems like there's still a lot of people who don't give that. And that's unfortunate. You know what I mean? Unless I mean, they don't know, and you can well, take it upon well, yourself to educate them. Yes, right, exactly. Yes. That's the thing. It's like because they don't want to know, right? right? At this point, at this point, at this stage in the game, it's like there's enough information out there, completely or not, but there's enough information out there for you to have a general sense that this is uh, a very serious issue and that um, things are not going to get better unless we do the social distancing and I don't I don't think people understand that they still I mean there's still people like it's not even a real virus like this is not it's not you know it's the Chinese it's the this it's the government it's the, you know so until until people oh what's that uh, Cleveland gas station sells gas for 89 cents that just came That's out beautiful wow. Wow. so before before we get off or I have to go yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, what what are our thoughts on like um, conspiracy and the root of this and you know I keep thinking of like Mission Impossible 2 I'm thinking of uh, is that Halle Berry one that's when uh, the virus is released by the vaccine creator Right, right, right. And right. The, so the vaccine creator can can get the money. It's with the, I think she's kind of like an Asian chick. Look, like you know, everybody has their opinions and theories about it, but let's be honest, a hundred percent, of course, that's what's happening. <laughs> Fuck, of course. Wait, say of that again. hundred percent, what? That there's some either small group of motherfuckers who are so rich, right, and so in charge of shit. That they just don't have the same sense of like they just consider us like you know whatever pets or fucking you know what I mean a little bit a little bit a little bit just like our they we're like the world to them is an app and they're playing like it's like Animal Crossing or fucking like The Sims they're just like what happens if I just like a release of like they're just watching the world and they're like oh yeah they're in a fucking like battleship off in the ocean that nobody knows about and they got no detection like no fucking solar to, and they just sit back and Tupac's there and fucking, you know right, what I mean? Right, because I mean, bird's eye view, what we're doing right now as a global society right. is pretty comical. Right, of course. Can't, I mean, right? No, totally. It's funny. No, totally. I mean, And, it's, uh, it's, and it's, nobody it's, really knowing, like, what's true and what's not, but let's like, err on the side of, you know, being right. careful. Right, right, right. Um, so so I, don't doubt, I don't doubt that it's a real disease. I, I don't doubt that, but... Is it the story they told us, you know? And does that, how much does that matter? Right. I mean, well, it matters right. in the sense of- I It's because we have the time to talk about it. <laughs> well, well I mean, it makes for a great story, but yeah, no, the, right. uh, well, like, the well, actions think, don't change that we have to take. Right, right. If, if it was from the government, if, if the government had this, or someone's on a yacht somewhere doing this to us, does that mean that we shouldn't still sit in the house? No, we will, no, we, we still stay still, home. But yeah. but that's only we can only figure that out. But because that even in that scenario, in those two scenarios we chose, rich guy and yacht, like pressing button, <laughs> hatching plan with mustache twirling. Okay, so even if he does that, it's still in that scenario a real virus that he lets out. So we go, I better stay home.
In the other scenario, guy eats bat musubi in Wuhan, you know, and then it spreads, jumps to anti. Either way, we got to stay home, right? So in those two specific cases, we got to stay home. But that doesn't negate the importance of having to figure it out in order to assess that in the first place. And you still have to stop it. Right? Yeah. So it's like if the story was different and it was like, actually, there is no real virus. Someone has commandeered your internet and is putting up all these fake articles. Everybody has it, so everybody thinks it's a reality. Tom Hanks is fucking tied up somewhere, and he doesn't <laughs> have the virus, and he's watching the fucking scroll. Where they're all paid. I don't want the virus. I saw that, that they're all paid. Or whatever, right? Yeah. So if that's what, fine. But in the end, it's like, I just have to take a gamble. Like, even if that's the case, I still go, well, shit, I have to gamble that it, is it if it's not real? I'm not gonna walk. Around, I'm not gonna walk around like fuck you. I'm, I'm not gonna believe this shit. I'm gonna go to the beach, right? I'm not gonna. But you have to make that gamble. So I ha I have to determine. So it's not just it doesn't matter. I have to determine which theory says what, so I can say whether it's fake or not, because that'll determine my actions. Well, I bring I, it up because if it is a real thing for people, right, right that right. it is a conspiracy or it's not real, right. then that actually gives us a. I don't know, a broader understanding of why people are behaving the way they're behaving, yeah, and which yeah. is why I think dialogue matters. Because yeah. we can ask them, well, what is it that you actually believe about the virus? That's why you're out wherever you are, coughing, not coughing, touching oh, people. Right. And, you know, I think that's part of it. It's just understanding where people are actually coming from and what they're actually believing. Because, I mean, to be real... A lot of like my spiritual friends or my yoga friends who are maybe even the more privileged people who are super healthy and travel the world, like they keep posting this thing about like, don't give into the fear, don't give into the fear. And in one sense, that's obviously true. Uh, like enjoy your life as right. best as you can. But are you talking about the people who actually care about their health or their loved one's health? Right. Who Acting have in a practical, responsible way to avoid danger. Right, or, or be being careful. extra careful yeah, that yeah, looks yeah. fearful. Yeah, 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 right? Yeah. So, like, that's where that's pissing me off, you fucking yeah. privileged yogis <laughs> doing handstands on a cliff. Like, go fuck off, you know? Like, right. there's a difference between fear and responsibility. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's, that's the thing that I was really trying to come to. And that was a big moment for me when I relinquished my desire to go to Alaska was like, this was my big self-care trip <laughs> and we had all this, these things planned and, you know, money was spent, whatever. Um, but just the thought of what if I, I'm not a carrier now, but I carried it from the airport. Right, right. Then I went to visit my sister who had all these plans for me right. and all my nephews who were so happy to hug me. Right. right? And I, just that thought. And then I was going to go to Alaska, see my friend and his family Right. And Alaska had no proven cases at that point where Seattle had a shit ton. So I'm going to hop from Seattle to Alaska and just Whoa. like very thought Whoa. of me potentially being a carrier. My compassion factor kicked in right. and was like, that is not nice. You know, what's even a harder, like we're talking about all this, you know, what's even a harder uh, conspiracy. And this is a good example because it's actually happening right now. But this is one of those things like, even if it is true, well, I don't know what to do about it, right? So, and that's the 5G thing, right? So all these people are saying 5G bad for us, 5G bad for us, but I'm just living on a planet where they're just putting it up everywhere. Like, am I gonna go rip it down personally? Cause maybe, maybe it's like Fight Club at time. And we got a Brad Pitt fucking put on fucking like disguises and go up and destroy our fucking, you know, big brother's attempt to fucking keep us down and radiate them for the fucking sake of rich people making money, you know? But so I hear that conspiracy out there. Oh no, 5G is not good for us. But like all these corporations are just going to like cook us in radiation, but they don't care because they'll make money and then we'll only slowly die. We get slow, whatever, you know, you just add that to one more cancer you get or whatever the fuck, right? Like, what do you want me to do about it? I, I, even if I don't get 5G myself, and I go, you know what? 5G is fucked. I don't believe in 5G. You're still a fucking stupid ass walking around souped and marinated in 5G fucking radiation, right? So, again, that one's, those are the, the one of those ones where like, shit, even if I find out the truth, what the fuck are we, what's the action? What's the action if you, you know, and, and that's why I think nobody listens to the 5G conspiracy. Because they're like, uh, I don't know how to tell if that's true, but even if it was, what the fuck? Shit, don't talk to me. <laughs> I mean, that's the only, it just comes down to like, fuck, shut up with the 5G. I don't know. I don't know what to do. 
and I get it. So, but all you people are like trying to warn people, warn people, warn what now? What do you want me to do? Like write my fucking senator like that ever does anything? 5G bad, Brian Schatz, don't do it. And then Brian's just gonna be like an automatic bot from your email. Uh, Brian will get back to you when he sees this number. You know, <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding, Malia, she actually does his emails. I love you, Brian and Malia. You guys, are, I'm sure, I'm sure you don't get back to everybody. <laughs> Talks to you. But it's it's it feels pretty bleak, right? This idea of like fuck that if there are people doing shit to us and making money of us and you know they already did it with the food, right? Hey, sugar's good, I promise. And then like thirty years later, fucking what? Inflammation cooks our fucking entire system and burns us out and damages ourselves. What the fuck? Why are you proving all the cereal and shit, you assholes? You know, and then now, but then some people have conspiracy. Well, I'm like, I don't know, as I got off of it, I feel way better. So I don't know what the fuck that is. You know what I mean? And I, I just think it's so interesting, everything we're talking about. By the way, I fucking love you guys so much. That I, I love you guys so like love this you too. in so many ways. Like, I just fucking love you. But it's making me think, what, what could our happiness factor be if, we all stopped reading the news. Oh, well, yeah, but we'd be all out there licking each other's faces right now. I know, <laughs> I know, and that's what I'm, I'm challenging. This is what I'm challenging, is like, what is really real? And I'm not saying that this virus doesn't exist, right. but, you know, I'm, I'm pretty, in, I'm very much in the woo-woo world, you must know that about me. But, you know, in our woo-woo world, we can, our consciousness itself can conquer the virus. Right. Our consciousness of even if I have cancer, even if I have whatever, COVID, um, I'm just, above it. I'm above it. You know? You say, you say that some people think that. I'm saying that what, that, okay, in the, some spiritual people definitely do. Okay. And or some people who don't even believe that the virus is real. Right. who are probably still out there potentially spreading things. Like, wait, 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 real quick. Like, how deep do they believe it? Like, if they had the COVID, they were coughing, and then a doctor came and said, like, look, I happen to have one extra fucking, like, healing vaccination. Do you want it? Do you think that you know some people who are so spiritual that they'll be like, fuck, don't need it. <laughs> Uh, maybe not for COVID, but I do know people who are that spiritual or uh, organic based, right, holistic, right, right. that they wouldn't, they'd opt out of the, what do they call that? What's the word? Anyways, uh, Western medicine. There's another, uh, right, right, right. Uh, there's another word we use for that. Anyways, um, no. and right. choose like a more naturopathic way. Oh, I see. Mm -hmm. right? um, so anyways, I just think it's interesting. Like, is ignorance bliss? You know, I, I do know some of my spiritual friends and depending on what it is and when it is, like I definitely turn off the news and my social media for those things just so that I can live in a more undisturbed way. <laughs> well, yeah, no, you're not wrong in the sense that I think in the moderation, right, uh, it, it is, it's, it's always a nice thought, right? Like, uh, if you can, um, you know, put a little ginger in between sushis, like cleanse the palate, sure. go outside, little bike ride, little mango, a little like check out the sunset, little stretch, come back and just don't be so out of touch that you don't realize. Like, it's, I mean, what is that guy who played the Joker, uh, Jared Leto? He came out of the forest, like in fucking beginning of March going, what's the coronavirus? <laughs> Where's everybody? Like, <laughs> And he was just like, accidentally, he was in the forest just doing some, you know, whatever, some fucking meditational shit, right? Which is nice and fine. It was just bad timing. He was out in the forest. Was, you know, whatever. People can do that. But when he came back, it just it reminded me of like, some people are just choose to be like that. They just go into a forest. And then, you know, yeah, it does, you know, it does like, what do you call it? It's less stressful when you don't have to see the bad news of what's going on. But it's also dangerous when you don't realize, oh shit, what what are we doing now? Don't touch each other. Don't you right around the corner. Right, like you, like every every human being needed to know this information. So, the not only did you need to know it, you needed to know it in a timely manner. So this is a very interesting subject, right? It's like 
this whole idea of like some people are on it, some people are off it, some people are like, you know what, I need to cleanse my soul, so I will not pretend to listen to media for six weeks, five minutes, five minutes, I'll see you back in five minutes, or whatever it is, right? everyone has a different, and they try, and they're like, oh, okay, and then three months later, I'm back, I know I said six months, but, uh, you know, I just need to say this, and it, it's fine, but you're, you're flirting with the, that you might be that guy who doesn't know when you need to know because we just live in a world, right? And, and I'll take it from a little bit of a different perspective of, you know, back to, back to happiness and happy graph, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like, even though, you know, I, and I think I have a, a maybe, maybe a, instead of rose colored glasses, maybe glasses with just perspective, right? So it's like, what's under, uh, what's in my circle of control versus circle of concern? Yeah. You know, even though I'm concerned about the world and but but I can only control, you know, my 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 well being and the people around me. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you know, so so even though gosh, these numbers of people dying are, are tremendous, yeah. uh, I'm I, I, I think I'm able to separate it. I mean uh, yes, I'm concerned, but I, I'm not I can't let it affect me like or, or I'd be crying all day right so Cry I, me a river can I ask you both a, a personal question or all of you um, do you always get your STD tests between partners yes yeah that, that's a must right and especially yeah. depending on the partner so like you know from if you're going to date Mikey I mean check it twice just fucking check twice <laughs> <laughs> and on that note, it's funny to talk about because it's like I know the gamut of people, right? Of how they treat that. Yeah, yeah. And this, that's how this is. That's gonna be the way someone's personality or feeling about that is very related to this virus. Right. right. True that. True that. Are you gonna be but, reckless in your but, in your? Or you just kind of, is it reckless or you just kind of have faith? It's like, listen, I don't have symptoms. Well, look, you know that I think having right? faith like, is I don't have warts. Reckless. I don't have any itchy, smelly, like, I don't have symptoms. Right, but right. That don't mean you don't have the virus, girl. Mm. Exactly. And, and knowing that, even, 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 you no, know. Exactly we do, just in case. Just in case. Just in case. You know what I mean? <laughs> But I don't know. I just, all I'm I saying, Gloria, if you're going to massage someone this week, Reiki. <laughs> Can you feel it now, Mrs. Johnson? Right? Everybody has to be a Reiki massage. I never thought that the person who is doing essential work right now is the fucking Reiki masseuse. <laughs> Holy shit. Are they essential? Well, because at least they're not passing on germs. <laughs> Can you believe it? They have gone from the bottom of the pit of anybody we give a shit about to like the top. Like, oh my God, Reiki masseuse. You get it. I, hey, you get it. I, I ain't never seen no one do six feet Reiki, but that's some pop. Well, they're going to have to start. Okay. <laughs> they got to up their Reiki game. Yeah, nope. None of this fucking irresponsible you know, Reiki game. Ryan Brian's show is that you guys are to consider essential. That is the you. Radio people. <laughs> Just barely made it. <laughs> I am glad you still have your job. I yeah, was right, me too. Sorry. Knock on wood. Knock we on were going to let you go. But Gloria, we're going to do this again. Don't the next we're going to figure out some maybe like the one shot with just we're going to figure it out. We're going to figure out. Oh, my yeah, we'll figure out the music sitch. Yes, yes. Love it. Sounds good. Virtual hug. I love the conversation. Tina, you rock. Thanks for uh, again <laughs> having fruit trees. That just your points just up to like <laughs> We're gonna get ready, man. We gotta get ready for the apocalypse. Yeah. Get your gun. Yeah. Get ready. Say uh, shout out to our mentor, Jason Scott Lee, who showed us the way. Seriously. We, all, we almost returned to the Mowgli jungle. Let us. I love you guys so much. Love Talk you. To you soon. Love Bye. you too, Gloria. I love Bye. you guys. Bye. Ryan, Bye. Tina. Bye.